Now, Ralph, this is something every horse owner ought to have. You bet your boots. And you know what, Heather, it's what makes it so great is a person that don't know a heck of a lot about a horse that owns a horse. And most horse owners don't have a clue when it comes to shoeing the horse. But what makes it so great, it's free. I like free. You bet you. Free is good. You, all I got to do is pay shipping and handling. Can't beat that. Can't beat that with a stick. That was pretty doggone good. <laughs> hey, gang. 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 Welcome to Horseshoe and Time. Let's talk. Now that's the whole purpose of having a research center gang and a television show where we can actually research things because throughout history nobody has ever really researched farrier science and for the first time the farriers and the horse owners come together and built a research center wherein that they could investigate products, they could investigate new ways of shoeing to help protect and keep our horses healthy. We so tickle that you're watching the show and hey Grab a horse on about arm, twist him a little bit, bring him in and tell him about our show. Watch us next week on Horseshoe and Time and right after that, Horseshoe and Time, let's talk. And remember this gang, a happy horse. He's a happy owner. Now this this wooden foot is shaped odd. I wanted it shaped that way where the high point is in the center. If you lay the rest on there, you can see it ain't touching the toe or the heel. See that? Neither side is touching the toe if you lay it on there flat. So if you put this on here, drop it down, use a smooth side, don't use a rough because you eat my foot up. Lay it just like that right there. Push, pull, push, pull about two strokes. That's the only place you should hit right there. Here's the way y'all do it. And you don't even, you'll never get a feel for a foot like that. The, uh, now run your hand down that. You'll see the difference. Just barely run it down. You don't have to run it rough, just barely oh, yeah. touch it. Oh yeah, I knew it wasn't worth the crap when I got it. So what I do now, look. See, when your ass correct, you got, look here how my body gets. Look here. My butt's out yonder. I can lay on the buttress and the toe just like that and turn it just a tad. You got to twist it just a tad. And that way you can feel that foot flat. Okay. That's all it is to it. You know, we're getting so many cards and letters, and a lot of times I like to link you know, recognize the folks out there. We're getting a lot from Florida. We get a lot of students from Florida too. And I just like to say howdy to some of them folks out there and want them to check our website. You need to help me out a little bit here. <laughs> but anyway, we're getting a lot of those things, a lot of these young gals sending you letters and stuff like that. You well, know, I'm I don't a like that. Man. <laughs> but anyway, before we sign off, we're gonna say howdy to you there in Florida, Oklahoma. And some of those guys and ladies out there, check out our website. Gang, we appreciate you, and it's just tickled to death to be here on Horseshoe in Time to bring the show to you. And remember this, Link, a happy horse. Makes a happy, a happy owner. owner. You bet your boots. See you next week right here on Horseshoe in Time.